All right. Yeah, here we go. We're going live again because we can. Only because we can. This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. What you pow? What you pow, pow, pow? Coming to you from the art studio. <laughs> guys, if you guys uh, care to join me for another little segment of the je ne sais quoi of the best artists in the world. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Way too awesome. Way too cool for school. Uh, literally. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be doing a, a, a chicken. I'm going to be doing a chicken today. Okay? So, just because I thought it was, you know, why not? Let's do a chicken. Some people are like, dude, I like those farm animals you do. I rarely do them. I don't do them that often, but when I do them, I do them. There's no in between. So here we go. Uh, bam! Let's tackle the. You got to tackle the beast. What I mean, tackle the beast, is tackle the the whole thing. This is something that I love doing. I like to tackle the whole thing. Not just, uh, not go like, oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. I'm gonna be here. Nope, tackle the whole thing. Like, the whole damn thing. Like, make sure that you do the whole thing. At once. Always. Forever. <laughs> so that's pretty much how it is, guys, here with me. With the world's greatest living artist. Yeah! The crowd goes wild. Wow! The crowd goes wild. Someone, someone, someone gets upset because I call myself the worst. Someone always gets upset because of, of something, right? But, but I, I've gotten a couple of, of people being like, Dude, why are you calling yourself the world's greatest living artist? Because I am, oh, son. Of course. <laughs> you got to call yourself something. I can't wait for other people to call me. If I let people call me something, they're going to be like, Dude, you suck. <laughs> So I have to call myself something before they do. <laughs> Check it out. Bam. There we go. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. Look at that. Look at that. So I was doing the Thursday, another Thursday, the, the Monday Mindsets with my wife this uh, today. Those of you who are not familiar with them, we do a little segment. We call it Monday Mindsets. Uh, we do a segment every day, but we were doing one today um, at noon. We do them at noon, Arizona time. They're pretty cool. Those of you who haven't joined, they go, hey, what are you guys waiting for? They need to join the party. There's a little party going on. No, we, we just talk about, you know, stuff that that I've learned, that she's learned, stuff that we've, you know, experienced, uh, being a, a full-time artist and all, and doing that kind of deal. What does it mean, you know? Bam, 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 that. <laughs> and one of the things that, that I covered today, for those of you who haven't seen it, please go see it after this. It's on the, it's on the, it's on the Instagram stories somewhere. And if it's not in the Instagram stories, it'll be on the... It'll be on the YouTube. <laughs> on the YouTube. I sound like those older people. On the YouTube. Um, it's pretty cool, you know? We talked about what happens when you fall off... When you fall off... English is my second language, so bear with me, guys. When you fall off the wagon, okay? What happens... When you're like, man, I'm doing, my, I'm doing my, my thing, I'm painting, and blah, 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 and all of a sudden, something goes off, right? Something goes off. And all of a sudden, you don't know what's going on. Yeah, I have to do a, I have to do a beak somewhere in there. <laughs> and uh, something goes off, you know, who knows what, but you fall off the wagon. And then your mindset goes to hell, right? Like everything you were thinking about, your thing, your... your uh, what do you call it? Your your whole mood, right? Goes just uh, takes a turn. 
And so, so we, we pay attention to that kind of thing because, again, we work for ourselves, right? I'm a, I'm a full-time artist. She helps me with the collectors and packaging and getting back to clients and, and, and on and on. And so that kind of thing kind of makes you or breaks you because it's not like I have a, a – it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm employed by someone who's like, you know, your supervisor or whatever who's like, dude, what's wrong with you? Go home, come back tomorrow or, or you know, whatever, right? Or we ain't having that if you behave that way. Um, you know, that, that discipline that someone else is holding you accountable to. Here in the studio, no one holds you accountable to that by yourself, right? Because, because we're doing it ourselves. So, so how do we do it, right? What do we do to, to stay committed? And it's one of those things that, that if you don't... If you don't pay attention to your behavior, you end up losing a lot. You know, you end up losing a lot. Because it really, it really comes down to behavior. So it's really cool. We, we, we do all kinds of little talks like that where we talk about, you know, the stuff that we're going through. Uh, not only in the art thing, most important, right? Because that's what the whole thing is about uh, outside of, of the family unit and whatnot. You know, all the other uh, priorities in life, we have uh, our career. So, it's one of those cool things. Muchas gracias, artista, artist Ana. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for joining. You guys are super cool. It's very cool here that I get to, I get to kick it here with cool people. And that's the kind of thing that we focus on, you know. As artists, I think that it's very easy to forget that um, you have to be, you have to be, you have to be dependable, you know. You have to, you have to be very disciplined because you're working by yourself. And regardless of the setting, right, you may be working for someone or whatever. You have to be, you have to be disciplined. That's, that's a given. But you have to be very disciplined when you're working by yourself. For many reasons, not only, not only you won't, um, no one else is holding you accountable, right? Uh, really holding you accountable. And another thing is that, is that um, you won't, you won't grow, right? If you're not disciplined, you won't grow. You'll 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 be stuck doing the same thing. So that's one of the other reasons that I I encourage artists who are doing this thing on their own. We gotta learn discipline. We gotta. We all have to drink from that Kool Aid. I know it's cheesy and whatnot. You know, people don't. People are like, that's the reason I got into artwork for. Well, it, it better be a hobby. You know, because if it's a if it's a if you're doing it as a career as a business, ain't there ain't no way you're gonna make it without discipline unless unless you. You land something like, you know, some shot in the dark deal, like, like a big, you know, big shot artist that, I don't know, like in the movies, right? Because I don't, I've never heard of anything like that. Someone just sweeps you up. If, um, I think all artists are kind of, not all artists, but a lot of artists are kind of waiting to be discovered. You know, uh, I kind of feel bad for that agenda because that's not... You know, that's like, that's like trying to say, I'm not going to work. I'm just going to hope to win the lottery. Like, it has happened to people. But it's like, it's like, dude, are you serious? Like, <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> but anyway, you know, everybody, everybody has the, the, I guess, to choose their life. You no, know, whatever. To, to live on a dream or to, or to live in reality and say, you know what? I'm going to roll up my sleeves. And I'm going to do whatever I can. To make this ish happen. Something like that. I don't know. So this is pretty much how I do the deal here, guys. I just wanted to show you guys. A little bit of. My deal here. I love doing this because a lot of people are like. Some people actually have, have said. 
man, you're not even painting your paintings. I, I show my stuff on eBay. I offer my stuff on eBay and other platforms. And people are like, dude, you're, you're, you're probably not even, you know, people that don't know me, right? You're probably not even painting them. How can you do them? Blah, blah, blah. Because I have quite some work right there. I'm always so cocky. Like, I should have done that rooster because I'm so cocky. I'm like, rah. Uh, so here I am. This is me painting. Hola, muchachos. This is me doing the deal. For all the non-believers out there. <laughs> For all the non-believers. Like, uh, like Patrick and Spongebob. Maybe he's not a brother. <laughs> there you guys go. Check it out. Man, I'm good. I'm too good. No, I'm too good for school. Yeah, so that's how it is, guys. You know, world's greatest living artist. Out doing it again. Doing his thing. Except that I don't have my Starbucks with me right now. My, my, my wife was like, dude, you need your Starbucks. So she went, I think, she, I think she did it for her too. She needs a Starbucks. She needs a little coffee. Yeah, check it out. That's what I'm talking about. Muy macho. Thank you so much, Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Appreciate that, Mickey Mouse. Thirty-five seventy-nine. He Jimenez uh, Samudio. How's it going? Thank you for joining the party. Doing my thing here, my Genesis Qua. Thank you guys for being part of this super awesome thing. Let's put some uh, let's put some light, right? Because I like to do this whole uh, expressionist deal and impressionist. I, I, I play with both words because you know it doesn't really mean anything. It's just loose brush. So let's put some light on the floor. Let's pretend that that Monsieur Monet was around here. Maybe Monsieur Monet painting some chickens. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. All right, check it out. My signature has gotten crazier by the day, by the night, by the minute. I'm getting muy loco. I don't know if it's the it's, no. Well, it can't be the fumes because I don't really have any fumes here. I use Walmart oil. I come prepared with Walmart oil. So, so I'm always uh, I'm always ready with uh. You guys want to see my palette night? My 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 palette table, my table? Because some of you are like, dude, show us a table. Cause I, Cause I don't use a palette. I don't use a palette, I use a table. Tan tan tan. This is how the pros do it. Go big or go home. Bam. <laughs> All jokes aside, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh you guys joining me to to do my deal here. Uh, it's like opening the window for a little, uh, art demo, no? Look right there, it says, world's greatest living artist, in short. That's really what it says. I just, I hide it under my, 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 my signature. So it's very simple, to the point. I believe, uh, I believe that there is such thing as overpainting something for me, right? The, the, that's not everybody. Of course, everybody does, everybody does things differently. But I know that I, that I sometimes just overdo it. And when I'm overdoing it, I can feel it. And, and it's, it's really got to do with, with the state of mind, right? It's really got to do with the state of mind for me. Uh, if I'm not feeling, uh, confident, I'll keep working on it, right? But if I'm extremely confident, like I'll lose myself in it 
and and I don't mean that I'll lose myself for five hours in it. It means that I'll I'll just like I call it. I, I mean it, I just puke it out. It's like oh, there it is. You know, it's I I know it sounds like weird, like I puke it out, but that's really what what it is. Yeah, I I, I don't stay too long with them. It's not my deal. I don't like it. I think it's it's unnecessary. I think it's you know, like I'm not I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to build a piano, nor am I trying to create a, uh, you know, like a like a photography. I'm trying to paint it, and I'm and I'm trying to I'm trying to do it using both, somewhat representational, but most importantly, my my own my je ne sais quoi, my own vision, right? My thing. Everybody's got their own thing, which is we gotta use it, we gotta practice it, and own it, and then just you know, get it up. Guys, thank you so much. This is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. And by the way, all of this stuff is going to be available on eBay. So if you guys want to check them out, uh, go to my profile and click on the link on my profile. It's like, it's like world's greatest living artist, bah, the link. And you guys will see all my cool stuff. All my work is original. I do, I work at it daily. It's not something that, you know, I, I don't do it when I feel like it. I'm always working on it. And regardless of how I feel, I treat it, I treat it like, like work, right? I don't just treat it as a hobby. So I learn a lot. I learn a lot from doing things when I don't feel like it. I think that that's where you learn. Like it's easy to do something when you feel like it, right? But try, try going at it for, you know, three, five, six, eight hours every day without feeling like it. And, and you start learning some cool stuff. You start learning some cool stuff. You start realizing certain little things. So thank you so much, guys. Take care. Adios, amigos.